Alright, we're back! So, last time, we, the heroes, uh, blew up a reactor, caused a bunch of property damage, disrupted, to some extent, public infrastructure, bought a flower, uh, rode a train down to the slums, and had a philosophical discussion with a guy who was possibly peeing on the fence about a giant pillar. So, yeah, we're in the Sector 7 slums, let's see what's up. Alright, heading to the bar, like you do after, you know, engaging in, uh, terrorism. Barrett clearing out the place by shooting, probably damaging the ceiling. Very irresponsible. Oh yeah, yep, see, somebody acknowledging financial damage. Did a lot of innocent people get killed, though? We didn't see anybody in the reactor. Some soldiers and some robots. I thought the explosion was in the middle of the night. Uh, I'm not sure this lady has all her facts straight. Oh, thank you, Barrett. You're letting me in the bar. Very kind. Cloud has a daughter? Did we fight with Barrett? Uh, we disagreed? I wouldn't say we fought. So this establishes that the bartender knew Cloud when they were both little. And that's our introduction to Tifa. And the flowers in the slums, because you got the plate instead of a sky. What are you going to do? Uh, did we get the flowers for Tifa? We didn't. Since she said we shouldn't have, we'll give them to Marlene. Maybe she won't be scared anymore. Ah, uh, there we go. So Barrett is Marlene's adoptive father. We find that out later. Oh, yeah, Barrett's fine. See, since everybody saw them go into the bar, I don't understand the need for, like, a secret meeting place below the bar. We're already the only people in here. Uh, scary man with a gun just shot up the place and scared everybody else out. I don't know. Let's talk to Tifa. We'll take a cocktail. Oh, don't worry, Tifa. We we know we're gonna get paid. Look tired. Look, we had a busy night. Super secret hideout. Jesse working on the computer.
Uh, okay. So this is our hint. It's ambiguous, I guess. So either Jesse miscalculated and made the bomb with a bigger explosion than she intended, or something else is going on. I don't think we ever find out... I don't think that ambiguity gets resolved here. It does in the remake. So President Shinra is talking about stuff here. Mobilized soldier, except did we, what we, just, we saw soldiers. I don't know if we saw a capital soldier. Oh, and Barrett's asking the question for me. Ice cold. Yeah, if you fought soldier, you wouldn't be here. Big's trying to hold him back. Oof. Again, Barrett is, is really hung up, but it doesn't seem to get X soldier. Cloud, not intimidated in the least. What's an honest knight's pay for an honest knight's work? Something like that. Okay, again, Barrett wanting to get paid for a job that we did and did well? Not the same as being a corporate ship. does not care. Well, he doesn't have to. You don't, you don't have to like your job if you do your job. Tifa trying the guilt trip. Although if we take her at her word, then what Shinra is doing is really problematic, and somebody has to do something, so... I shouldn't be so snarky. And that's... Alright, getting on my soapbox. That's the thing about environmentalism, and... You know, when there is data or research that says, hey, something we're doing is causing a problem, you know, do you have a moral obligation to do something about it, even if it's not going to affect you? Um, you, you know, I've got friends who, some friends have kids, some friends don't. Um, if we have discussions about, you know, should you bring a kid into this world knowing all the problems that are present now and that might be coming down the line. Um, yeah, anyway, this isn't a political stream, this is just a bald guy in a hat playing a video game. But, you know, do we have an obligation to try and make things a little better for whomever comes after us. Teeth laying on, laying on the guilt thick. Walk out on your childhood friend. Seven years ago. So I think... I think Cloud is 21, if I remember right. So seven years ago, be 14. Tifa would be about that age too. And they are remembering their hometown, specifically a well. Sure, let's talk about it. What were those crazy teenagers up to? So Cloud thought she would never come, so Cloud invited Tifa out to the well. Cloud? You dog.
Alright, so teenage cloud, stars in his eyes. Whether or not he's a jukebox hero, we don't know, but he's gonna leave for Midgar. Nibelheim, on the town. So yeah, there's a play on North, Norse mythology in some of the names. Midgar, Nibelheim. Cloud says, I'm not just going to find work. I want to join Soldier. Wants to be the best, just like Sephiroth. That is our first mention of Sephiroth. The Great Sephiroth, excuse me. Best of the best when it comes to Soldier. Here's the promise. So, modern day, you know, 20 or 21 year old Tifa is an independent businesswoman. She owns a bar. You know, she's making some money. She's got a respectable job. Maybe she does a little terrorism on the side, but nobody's perfect. Teenage Tifa, however, wants to have the hero princess fantasy play out. So. Not that there's anything wrong with that. She wants a hero to come rescue her if she's in trouble. Even though know Cloud has that big wall of spikes, whoosh. Promises to be the hero. Oh, and there's a shooting star. Cloud says, hey, I'm just a guy I'm trying to get paid. I'm not a hero. I'm not famous. Now, how does Barrett climb with one hand and a gunner? These are the questions that keep me up. Furthermore, how does he reach into his belt and get, presumably, a bag of money with the gunner? Cloud says, all right, I'll stay, but I can pay any more. That is the, I hope everyone slept well music. So it's a new day. Sleep well. Eh, I, I imagine Barrett's kind of a snorer. Yeah, Barrett's always edgy before an operation. And during an operation. And after an operation. Alright, so. New plan. Second verse, same as the first. We are going to blow up another reactor. Sector 5 this time. Okay. So, yeah, that. In the original game. I don't think we could mess with Materia 
until after explaining how it works to bear it. So one of the mods must tweak that, because we were able to move stuff around. Alright, we'll go through the explanation. It's gonna go quickly. So basically, Materia is crystal that lets you use magic. Uh, we find out a little bit later on it's actually crystallized Mako. So the same energy um, or the same substance that is being used to power the reactors, uh, when crystallized, can give you special powers. So you can use magic. And there are other types of Materia besides magic that we'll find out about. The game's just telling us you can do stuff through the menu. Cloud says, see, it was just, wasn't that tough. It's a magic crystal, lets you do stuff. <laughs> Parrot hits him, apparently, because he feels insulted by Cloud saying it wasn't that tough. I'd just like to point out that they're leaving Marlene, who is seven, six, under ten in charge of the bar. Right. Tifa, once per battle when she's knocked out, she will auto-revive. Okay, cool, because Tifa's tough, she's a martial artist. Uh, you know, after all that about Materia, maybe we should do some rearranging. So right now, Cloud's got everything. Let's get rid of lightning. And give ice er no, not get rid of lightning, get rid of ice. I can read, I promise. Oh, you know what? We got some better armor, didn't we? These seem to be improvements. Alright, I don't want to go through the full tutorial, but we'll do some exploring. Okay, so... We have one of each element, plus restore. Do we want to buy steel materia, even though it's going to cost a bunch of money? Yes, we do. You know, we could sell... Uh, maybe we don't want to sell all these, just in case it turns out they'll be good for somebody. steel to. Increases clouds, strength, dexterity, and luck. Same thing for Tifa. Well, since Tifa is primarily going to be a bruiser, maybe not as much magic. Yeah, we'll keep that on her. Iron Bangle would improve our defense. That would improve Barret. Barret's strength. Let's do that. We can't sell the Gatling gun because it's his default weapon. And the game's not going to let us get to a point where somebody doesn't have a weapon. Okay, that's fine. Oh, do we need to rest? We don't. Do we want to help out this 
entrepreneur. Sure. Okay, there's some more tutorial stuff in here that we're just not gonna bother with. Oh wait, I did have materia. sense to cloud. Alright, let's check out this little kid's room. See if it's worth the uh, 100 gil we paid. Okay, now we're going to take a nap. Snoop. Thought we could snoop. Guess not. Alright, that's fine. It's an expensive nap, though. Alright, heading to the train to look at the reactor. Uh, let's give that to Tifa. Hit the wrong buttons here. There, so if she does have to cast ice, she will fill up a little bit because of it. Nothing much going on up there. Alright, here we go. Shimmer Middle Manager. <sighs> so violent. Laundry. If you work for a company that's doing bad things, does that make you, by extension, bad or complicit? Clouds busting up your rhythm of just randomly hitting people? Not a great rhythm there. Yeah, we know. There's a scanner system. We've got IDs. Keep a low profile, says the guy who just assaulted a civilian.
Why, Tifa, what are you doing? Uh-oh. are trying to outrun the security check somehow. I do take something, I assumed, since we heard the coin sound. Alright, come on. Jesse, move it! I'm gonna jump out of the moving train. That seems safe. That's a little mean cloud. Why'd you come along? supposed to do left behind on the train gotta get back on track ha ha okay so we're gonna rendezvous with them later so since they want us to head that way let's go the other way maybe there will be treasure Fighting a chocobo?
Dragon. Okay, that was interesting. Joker bracelet. What's that? Resist wind. Okay. Four material. His hair does kind of look like a chocobo, so it seems appropriate. Alright, so we don't want to trip the sensors. Is that a hatch? Yep. Alright, nothing else to do here, unless we run into uh, Commander Chocobo again. Okay, Barret's a little claustrophobic. That's fair. Ah, the bottle was a trap! There are a lot of critters and armaments in this air duct. To get some fun camera angles. Let's see. Oh no, they took us by surprise. Hell bubbles? Those are like the worst kind of bubbles. I'm not going to make the same joke again. It's down.
Music Room. That sounds like something for Cloud. Is this one Materia? Alright. Hey Tifa. Punch that rocket launcher. Or that fish. Totally fine. up there. I'm gonna go this other way. A lot of times if you don't take the path you're supposed to take, you'll run into treasure. Or sometimes nothing. But sometimes treasure. Jesse, did you screw up? That's all right, don't worry about it. You got through okay. Wait. So they take us to the same place. Okay. Good to know. And Jesse's gone. Or was she never there to begin with? Good time to save. Alright, call this one. Made some progress, leveled up, ran through a train tunnel, punched some artillery, got attacked by uh, a military chocobo. So, yep, yeah. good times. We'll see what happens next. See ya.